everything is not ours, but we don't care. We're just making money with it. It doesn't have to be mine to sell it. Okay, so I'm a bigot. What's it got to do with you? Nothing. I'm not me! Portrait! Sounds classy. Doesn't it? But um, he's sitting over there talking about Tootsie, his dog. I know what happened to Tootsie. First of all, let's talk about why he calls his dog Tootsie. It's because Tootsie is the name of this. No one knows his new identity, not even the girl he's madly in love with. Aw, oh, that's so Soon cute. everyone... There's Tootsie, the transvestite dog. I came home today, and you pooped all over the floor. And uh, now you're trying to cuddle up to make everything better. Uh-uh, it don't work like that, Tootsie. Nope, 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 that old kissing stuff ain't gonna work with me, Tootsie. Hold on, Tootsie. All right, good, good. I beat it. Get out of here. Damn it. Tootsie. Tootsie, bro. Who is Joseph Earl McPeak and what does that have to do with anything here? Okay, I guess I'll flag this and say spam or misleading. Misleading text. This is misleading. The text and the title do not match the content of the video. Why is he using other people's names to promote his garbage? Please remove and warn this user to use his own content not other people's na <laughs> names names and such boom <laughs> but all of a sudden he's not talking about me no more he's gonna keep saying it though he's gonna keep saying that i steal stuff i'll have you know those are fighting words mister Say it again. Say it again. Say I steal stuff. Say it again. I bet you won't. I bet you're going to keep your little fat trap shut. Y you see right there where it says network relationship? It says Frederator Allied Affiliate. You know what that means? One Gun doesn't even own his own channel. His channel is owned by the Frederator. He ain't nothing but a YouTube slave, folks. He's there uh, using my name, and um, I don't think the Frederator is going to like him using my name. So all I have to do is contact the Frederator. However, I got to contact these people. Tell them to shut it off, to stop letting one gun use other people's name. That's called identity theft, identity fraud. You know what it is. I started talking about the Real Illusion Lip Sync Contest winners. And right on cue, you know what happened? Somebody got mad, sad, and jealous and started waving around documents that have no, um, that says nothing about him. Why is he waving around other people's um, saying that, the that I got banned? 
I didn't get banned, folks. They made it look like I got banned. I, I got to tell you, folks, this site right here, TrueBones.net, is coming down. Yeah, my good friend Chris Ruiz showed me who the web hoster was. It's through um, Ocean. TrueBones drug addiction. TrueBones nearly gets sued. Face spot illegal reselling. No, kid. No, kid. This is all coming down because you're an idiot. He thinks by posting a picture of somebody who he thought was my mom... Like that was going to get under my skin. Um, he he wants to play around with people's identities. He wants to play around with people's names. He wants to play around with people's faces. So that's what you have is a stupid person who is too lazy to believe the truth. That's all it is, folks. I didn't get banned from nowhere. So go ahead, one gun. Send more flying monkeys out after me. Send more sharks after me. Send more Mickey Horners after me. Send more Todd Foxes after me. Send more Don Thax after me. Send more of those goons from the goon squad. Do it. You know why? Because we're watching you now. Everybody's watching him. The FBI, the CIA, the NSA. They got his every move documented. That was a lie, pal. He's being watched by law enforcement. So if you're selling drugs out of that house, dude, I would suggest that you don't anymore because we kept hearing people coming in and out, in and out, in and out, all those knocks on the door. We know what that's about. You're probably selling drugs in there, right? And uh, I even ran ice for the bartenders because I was just a nice guy, you know? I ran ice, I ran meth, you know? What else do you want from me? I have this pack. I have this. And uh, I told my attorney general's office that he's he's selling me content that he didn't tell me that when I bought it from him, that the content was um, already, you know, he didn't have the license or the rights to sell this stuff to me. Right. So my attorney general office sent him or the state attorney sent him a letter. He made a video of it, laughed and basically tore it up afterwards. What has to be done is that uh, this is uh, attorney Christopher M. Thomas, and he represent uh, he works for Parker Poe, and he represents uh, Epic Games. And what Epic Games <laughs> did is what Epic Games did is they got they hired this guy, and this guy went and sent a DMCA to Shahil Lavinia, the CEO of Gumroad. And he told mm -hmm. them, you know, this is a, this is a real takedown. And he basically told them, if you do not remove this content, you are in violation of the uh, Millennium Act. And they were going to get sued directly. Uh, Epic was going to sue them directly. And they would have been out a lot of money. So they finally took the stuff down after they knew they couldn't wiggle their way out of uh, having him sit there and constantly sell the stuff. You know, mm -hmm. so the whole thing. Like we've been contact, we've contacted Adobe, we've contacted Max on Cinema 4D, we've contacted Disney, we contacted everybody. Let them know this guy's been doing this for years. He's taking your content, selling it, and uh, using the money to pump back into his YouTube channel or whatever the hell he does to go out and harass and stalk people, or whatever, because he doesn't want nobody talking about the fact that he's selling stuff he doesn't have the rights to. You know, this all <laughs> came down. Uh, but he, he was on Sketchfab selling, selling he's the guy right he's the guy that's the guy that's him okay 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 but this guy right here mr Hill, the hill the chief of the offer of gum wrote write him directly the same way this lawyer wrote him to get because he had 
a whole bunch of uh, Fortnite stuff. He, he ripped the game, took the models and the animations out, and he tried to sell them. You know, as for his YouTube channel, the video I showed him, you can actually file, file a DMCA takedown request for that because he's actually doing something illegal, which is fraudulent, and telling people that he's make, he, he makes these avatars. Uh, he has the rights to tell everybody that he can take this stuff and sell it to a third person. You know, he lies. Here we go. So all you got to do is type in heart to heart counseling at 69 Oxford White Lake, Michigan. All right. Type mm -hmm. that in. Uh, you wind up at this yellow pages uh, page. Yeah. Here's his address, 69 Oxford White Lake, Michigan. Uh, here's a phone number. Uh, this is the phone number to the heart to heart counseling, which is where he works at where, where well not works but where he has a fake business because his business is not registered with the it's called true bones motions it's not registered with the state it's not registered with the federal um and it's definitely not registered with the state of michigan uh corporations department so his business don't exist mm -hmm. he uses this uh fr cg freebies on facebook and he uses this page to sell stuff he doesn't own as you can see it says right here, free Fortnite emos, uh, mocap. Now, this is the stuff that uh, they took down. Mm -hmm. um, and he's uh, here, here it is again, the, the juice pack. Uh, this is Autodesk stuff right here. He has that on. And it, it's the same guy, just making different names on Facebook. And here's, here's another one of his alts right here. Um, this is from the game uh, Blue Estate. He stole the character. He ripped the characters out there. And uh, he used uh, Motion Builder uh, to advertise and make videos about it. Um, here is the game Dead by Daylight. He ripped the stuff out there and he's throwing it up here for people. And mm -hmm. the whole thing about this, the main part about this is it's that gumroad.com. So he's telling people to come to Gumroad. That, that's how he gets people to, to get his stuff, uh, to come and buy stuff is that everything has all these, all this stuff is all linked to that one, one Gumroad page. Uh, Mr. Mr. Ungu, I have one, one uh, question on this. Let's say we take down uh, True Bones, right, uh, from Gumroad. Uh, right. But uh, wouldn't he use a different name and sell it again? He could, if you file a complaint with the uh, with the district attorney's office to let mm -hmm. them know he's he's uh, <laughs> he's committing fraud. He's taking our stuff and sell it. Then he gets jail time. He gets prison time. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. he, uh, he he can't make another fake all identity in jail. He has to serve his time full time because this is a federal crime. This is wire fraud and mail fraud we're talking about here. We're talking about racketeering. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. This is, this is racketeering. Know, this yeah, is racketeering. Absolutely. Well, 100%. He's costing you money. He's costing you money and he's, and he's frauding people. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, that's the mm -hmm. Both the same. I've even did a forensics on I me. Mean, I mean, I, I went and took both of the motions from both packs and compared the rotations, the animations. They're the exact same thing, you know. And uh, think about this: is that uh, you all have a policy? And I do believe I talked to somebody who's in the in the motion capture industry, and they said, yeah, if you get caught using all of that stuff, it's like a hundred thousand dollar fine, you know. And uh, think about it: is we want you all to enforce this. If you enforce this on him, that will that will that will actually stop him. And he feels that nobody can do nothing about it. The reason why they can't do nothing about it is because you all don't know. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. if you knew, you would have stopped them. Absolutely. You know, absolutely. He's making, he's making commercials, infomercials on his uh, True Bones, uh, uh, True Bones Motions uh, ch uh, YouTube channel. I showed you a little while ago. So he's doing all this stuff, and he feels like he can do it and just stay lawless. You know. And uh, we've been screaming for years that, you know, there's the character generator. We've been screaming for years like, hey, why won't all of this do something about this guy? Because he's telling people and lying to people and they're coming there and buying the stuff. And then you try to use it. And then what happens is all of this will come to you and actually but, do you, where'd you get this stuff the, from? The question is, again, uh, right, he, he may have, you know, it registered under in Michigan uh, state. However, he could be somewhere else, right? No, um, he, he's in Michigan. He's in Michigan. He, he's in Michigan. He's in Michigan. 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 Yeah, because I have a protection order against him, and uh, he got it. You know, I've sent the, the I'll call the FBI on him because he threatened to kill me, 
and they went there and they talked to him. He lives there. I confirmed it. He lives there. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. I got it. So uh, I'll have to discuss it with uh, our U.S. colleagues. Uh, what I do is I I uh, handle the Philippines uh, part of the license compliance. Uh, however, uh, I'll discuss it with uh, my colleagues in the U.S. What happens is people get hurt. You know, I have uh, game developers that actually uh, went to him to get stuff and found out they couldn't use it because he's stolen like Autodesk stuff or sold into Autodesk characters. You know, mm -hmm. why does, I mean, so why is he, he, he if, if he had a genuine Autodesk account, we would have shut it down already. Uh, the thing is that he's using, a, you know, a pirated license, which, uh, you know, which we have no control over. Right, uh, right. So, but, but, yeah, so, but you know he's doing it now. Abs I, I know it now. Uh, <laughs> hey, you know it now. So you can actually prosecute him. Uh, you can actually take him to court. You can actually sue him. Yeah, there, there's some more stuff that he's selling. That, now, he's all of that stuff. Understand that I can see it. That's his so-called business. It's his mom's garage. That's his mom's garage. that's outside of his house. That's the True Bones business. That's where he does everything. All right, mm -hmm. where he's streaming mm -hmm. from. That's where he does everything. There is no True Bones business. There is no motion capture studio. All the stuff that he claims that he's making with motion capture, he doesn't make it. He goes and he steals the stuff from someplace else. This is Would today. you do that? This guy is crazy. I think. Can't you get to back to work? Look, he starts out working on something kind of cool, and then he comes over, and then he gets really angry that I was so talking then, so, about so somebody just, else. Just in context, hold on, Sally. And not him. Um, I was working on a 3D model. I was modeling in Blender, all right? Mm -hmm. And uh, he comes over here, and then while I'm modeling, he goes and uh, reports my video in. Now, I'm playing music and modeling for people who watch my stream, and he comes over here and, and tries to file a fake report on my channel. You know, because we've been turning him into uh, people he's stealing from. You know, if what he does is legal, why is he basically banned from every 3D outlet on the net? He can't post his stuff. I mean, he can't sell nothing he has inside of uh, our Unreal Engine. He can't sell nothing that he has to Real Illusion. He can't sell nothing that he has to Unity. He can't go nowhere with his stuff. The only place that he can put his stolen crap is on the pirated site known as Gumroad. Gumroad is chock full of pirated crap. You know, we've proven it. You know, I mean, he uh, he he uh, was banned off of Sketchfab. And Sketchfab even asked him, are you licensed to sell the Autodesk stuff? And he says, yes, which well, we know he's lying because we yeah, know absolutely. the terms of service is, you know. Mm -hmm. I can see uh, from the videos you showed me that it definitely is lying. And Shungo, I got it. Uh, let me take this forward. Uh, Thank you very much, first of all, uh, for bringing this up. Uh, let me take this up forward, and uh, I will send another uh, calendar meeting probably next week, uh, 25th Monday, uh, and we will. Uh, I'll update you on what the progress is about this person. Okay, okay. I, I think what Sally's trying to say is that he keeps on calling the BSA on her. He keeps on filing complaints under numerous names. Uh, to BSA saying that Sally's company is illegal using Autodesk when he's the one doing it. You know, he's Absolutely. a hoaxer. Yeah, so he's a, so what happens is she gets audited and she gets audited more than anybody else. All right, he's Absolutely. doing it. He's doing it. He's, he's, he's using anonymous names, different accounts, and, and making her life hell when she has to run a business. How the hell is she supposed to make money to pay Autodesk if he keeps on interfering with y'all? I mean, with her business. Thing is, we can shut him down if these companies will work with us to help them shut him down, because he's not doing nothing good for the 3D community. Nothing. We report. I'll, I'll definitely. I'll definitely. I'll. This is this is a very serious concern, uh, and I'll definitely put this up. I'm right away pinging uh, my manager here, senior license commerce manager here in US. And this is what we get. This is what we get when we report him in. He gets our pictures, our photos, calls us transsexual whores. Uh, and photoshops our faces and then laughs about it and then goes back to selling your stuff because you know he's showing everybody he's above the law i completely understand this is this is a serious concern and uh whatever we can do uh in terms of autodesk licenses we'll definitely do it thank you for listening to me thank you well, I've gotten thank you thank you. you yeah thank i've got more out of you than anybody in the last five years uh, from autodesk about this guy thank you thank you very much for your time Mr. rungu and uh miss peck uh, I'll update you. I'll discuss it right away uh, on priority with my colleagues, with team, and we'll see what action plan we can formulate to, to put this guy down. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. You have a nice day. Thank you. you Thank you very much. Bye-bye.
you see this Pilewick Studios, it's a sham, it's a front, it's a fraud. They're into money laundering and prostitution. You're a liar! Liar! As you see right here, this Sally here, she squatted on a domain called TrueBones-ArtThief. And you're probably like, why, Joe? Why would she do that? I don't know. But she did it. And you shouldn't do it. Now, here's what else is illegal. That's not a girl. That's a guy, people. Real criminals get caught because they're completely stupid. Is where, where are these characters? Well, what are those characters, Joe? These are the characters from Mixamo. Okay. But wait a minute. No, but wait a minute. These are game rips. And once they found out that that horse was a game rip, they took it off, back off their... Look, they got, look at all those horses. Look at the dog, the Call of Duty dog right there. So, well, what did they do, Joe? Well, they took game rips and they put it in their store and then they yelled at other people for doing the same thing. This is our FBI anti-piracy warning. The unauthorized reproduction or distribution of our copyrighted works. That includes my entire face. This entire region is copyrighted and trademarked. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. So this is e uh, emails in one gun's emails. So my question to you, Sally, is now, why are you working with one gun? Are you part of a conspiracy, an overseas conspiracy? Sally, me, and Beverly, Autodesk Inc. I'd like to report this with sales figures from True Bones. Recently, Joe has posted his monthly, Sally, what are you doing sending messages to Autodesk about my sales figures. It's not their business. It's not none of your business either. And it's certainly none of One Gun's business what my sales figures are. What are you doing showing One Gun my sales figures, huh? So pretty soon you'll be able to download this and use it export and fpx and you won't have to buy it from cg talk or turbo squid or sketchfab um yes folks you can find this same model on sketchfab for sale look you're not supposed to do game rips do joe you're a thief you're a con man you're a crook why? Because you use game rips. Well, so did everybody else. What's up, everybody? It's your boy One Gun here, and uh, I'm in the hospital um, again. A couple of days ago, I, uh, I fell, and 
and I fell because uh, I couldn't get up because my blood pressure was so low. Um, I uh, I almost passed out and died. You know, I almost died. You know, this is the uh, second time my uh, my uh, infection has tried to kill me. You know, uh, this infection was is pretty was pretty aggressive. It uh, got in my foot really fast before I knew it and uh, started spreading like wildfire. And uh, it did some things to my body. So I will be getting my leg amputated um, because I'm, uh, I'm really sick, you know, and, and uh, I almost died. And I don't know where life is going to take me after this, folks. I'm going through some real judgment calls and decision making and stuff like that on my life and on my health. Hopefully I'll make it through this. The only thing I think about is ways to what I'm going to do when I return. Because I won't be back for a while, folks. It's going to be a while, you know. Um, because uh, what, you're looking at is a, what you're looking at is a dying man. And to be honest with y'all, you know, I am a... Uh, I am a dying man. Um, the doctor told me, you know, when he saw me, when he came in that morning, and he said, this is like the sickest I've ever been. And uh, he said, you're so lucky that you made it here because you, they, said, they said I had like minutes, minutes before I was going to. I got to finish what I started, you know, and I got to ignore the haters, you know. It's the haters that, that 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 want you to be in this situation. They want you to suffer and they want you to die. You know, somebody's out there spreading lies and rumors about me and it's not true. You got a hate monger who wants to sit back and lie about me so I can't finish my films. But I'm gonna finish them. I know the doctors told me. The doctors told me I don't have too much time. That's all I got to say, people because I'm tired. I really am. No man on this planet should have to put up with a clown waking up every morning and saying what he's saying. No, no, no. I shouldn't have to put up with it. And I'm not going to put up with it no more. Well, my surgery to remove my leg is going to be on Tuesday because my leg is going to kill me. Now, if I keep, I can keep my leg on, right? But it's it's eventually gonna kill me because it almost killed me this time. It's gonna try to kill me again. I had to make a decision to live, <laughs> you know? It's hard, it's really hard. It's really hard when I have to deal with this and I got a, a fucking moron after me every day of my life lying about me he keep me track my father's arrest records down and put him up for everybody to see he he tried to he stalked my sister you know he uh he stalked me he told everybody where i lived i mean he, he did a lot of nasty stuff and he's gonna keep on doing nasty stuff even while i'm sick in the hospital he's still doing it I thought, about, I, thought, I, thought about, I thought a lot about the people who love me. And that love made me strong enough to get up, try to get up, you know, after I, I couldn't get up and get my phone and call for help, you know. Because I said I want to sit. At first, I was like, I want to sit here and just die. And then I said, you know, what about the people? I'm like, what people? The people who care for you, the people who want to, see you and i said i said you know what i can't let those people down i can't it's you guys my family and my friends that have done so much to make me want to live my power doesn't come from him my power comes from you guys and my family and my dad and my mom i love so much I told you, I told you, talking about me is bad for your health, but do they listen? No, of course not. All right.
So, words to die by. That's the new swan song I'm creating here. The swan song. All right, so folks, we'll come back and we will show you the mighty one gun as he sings his final performance, I guess. He wants us to believe he's dying. <laughs> what a joke. And if he does die, it's not my fault. I'm not the one sitting up there snorting street drugs. He probably uh, snorted some fentanyl and fell down. That's probably what happened. You liar! Did Joe make you do those street drugs? No, Alvin. Joe did not make you snort the freaking fentanyl that put you in the hospital. See, folks, he's lying. Oh, yeah, well, he is in the hospital because they got to chop his leg off. But for him to go on a live stream and say, it's all Joe's fault, wah, 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 that goes to show you he is delirious. Off his drugs. This is what Peter taught Alvin Snurling. How to whine, how to cry, how to lie, how to cheat, how to steal, and how to blame others for things that happen to themselves. <laughs> Alvin, grow up, kid, or you will. You will be in a world of hurt. Poor Alvin. Good night, Alvin. You see, I'm not buying all this crap about Alvin. No, 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 no. I'm not buying this crap from Alvin that he's sick. And apparently he almost died. Oh. He comes on here and he puts on the pity act. Um, this I is nothing but a schmuck looking for pity points. It says, oh, I'm dying, I'm dying. They gotta cut my leg off, blah, blah. But um, I'm not gonna talk about this Joe guy. But I'm gonna talk about this Joe guy. Yes, this gets lots of ratings. Wow, 123 views. All I had to do was put on a mask. Oh my God, and pretend I'm in a hospital bed. Just a minute, please. Just a minute, please. My leg amputated. Oops. That's a punchline right there. My leg amputated. <laughs> yeah, right. Listen. I almost passed out and died. You know, almost died. You know? Oh, my God. Give this guy a Grammy. This is the performance of a century, this, uh, folks. Uh, second time my, uh, <laughs> my uh, infection has tried to kill me, you know. <laughs> Elvin Snurling brought this all on himself. He has fake friends who hide behind fake names and abuse the shit out of him. Yeah, I'm talking about Todd Fox and Don Thack and Jet Strange and Ben Tuttle and all those other people who... Oh, Benny D is one of the latest abusers. everybody it's your boy one gun here and i just want to show you guys uh uh they uh they amputated my leg yesterday so here's my leg what's well, left of my leg yeah woke up from my, well, when they, i don't know what that beeping noise is let's 
irritating as hell. I got only one hater out there, and all he can do is just hate. You know, that, that's all he got for me is hate. He, he doesn't have no, no, uh, he doesn't have no argument or nothing. He just got hate, you know. And you can see that every day when he opens up his mouth and cut on his computer, opens up his mouth, all he has is hate and contempt for me for no reason, you know, other than the fact that he's trying to prove something that's not there. This is evil, people. This is pure evil. Alvin Snurling is a scapegoat of evil. He tried to use his own missing leg as a weapon. That's how stupid he is. Do you think I'm afraid of a missing leg? What am I supposed to say? So, I'm going to say, so what? So what? Your leg is gone. Wow, big deal. Evil has survived, people. Evil. Alvin Snurling is evil. Look what he does to people, folks. And you know why he does it? It's because real illusion is evil. One gun is the pirates. He's freaking Captain Hook, man. He walks around like a pirate now. It's going to take him two weeks to a month to learn how to walk again. So when you go swimming, one gun, I hope they call you Bob because that's all you can do is Bob around in the water. And your new girlfriend's name is Eileen. Do you get it? Eileen. Eileen. <laughs> There's one gun's girlfriend. You know, going to IHOP Pancake House takes on a whole new meaning. <laughs> Here's one gun going to the IHOP <laughs> for some pancakes. <laughs> You see, folks, evil has survived. And now it walks with a limp. I'm scared. I'm scared to be Joseph Earl McPeak. If I'm Joseph Earl McPeak, they're going to come after me, just like One Gun wants them to. So for the time being, I'm going to be Sam Smith, and then I'm going to check with the judge and say, hey, judge, is it fair that I don't even get to be myself? Yes, there's treason afoot, Your Honor. Treason afoot. Yeah, just look at Alvin. But I don't see no foot. My thoughts exactly. It's just too flabby and fat. Like somebody I know. Their lips. I, I'm talking about their lips. Their top lip must weigh 150 pounds, and their bottom lip must weigh... 250 pounds. The rest is just blubber. Hello everybody, Eve Bat Studios coming at you tonight, and I don't know what to I don't know what to say about this really. I, I need some support from my community right now. Not for myself, but directed at a friend. Uh, One Gun Shun is an iClone animator who has been incredibly supportive of me and my friends and my my progress on my studio. And the fact that I'm a, a transgender animator, this is something that is difficult for me to deal with and that I do deal with harassment and stalking over. They're in the hospital right now and they had to have a leg amputated yesterday. And I'm not entirely sure how I can support them right now, but I, I'm going to try my best to do something to support this friend of mine. It just weighs very heavily on my soul, honestly. Because not only are they dealing with having had a, a leg amputated just now, and this very clearly 
has changed their life. They are also literally being mocked and harassed by a racist stalker at the same time as this recovery is, is happening. And to be completely honest with you, I don't think it would be unreasonable to say that the, the pressure that this stalker has put my friend under exacerbated the diabetes and caused them to to have to have this leg amputated. He's really done nothing wrong. Certainly nothing to deserve the persistent and horrific racist and bigoted harassment of True Bones Motion's animation studio literally live streaming to Twitch and YouTube a celebration about him getting his leg amputated. And this person is an absolute piece of trash, and One Gun is very aware that this person is harassing and stalking them and, and putting this kind of toxic garbage out here because they do it every day. This, this stalker comes after my friend every single day. Let me start with Eve Bat. Eve Bat said that I was mocking somebody in the hospital. I'm not mocking nobody. Because not only are they... This is all a lie. This is called pretending. Just like this person's pretending. It's a guy pretending to be a girl. This person is pretending to feel sorry for Elvin. You see, folks, Elvin is lying to you. He's not in the hospital because of his leg. Well, he is, but there's another reason he's in the hospital. It's because he's been doing drugs. One gun don't need to be felt sorry for. Do you understand me? He went to the hospital because he's on drugs. All right, so I got to report this. Uh... All right, so let's read the rest of this, and then we'll, then we'll show you what is wrong with all this. An artist who has supported me for years? No, he hasn't. As I learned to use iClone and through harassment as a transgender animator, is in the hospital right now. He just had to have his leg amputated. Yeah. He is diabetic, but his surgery is no small part due to the pressures he's been under from the transphobic, I'm not transphobic, and racial hara racist harassment, I'm not a racist either, of a mutual stalker, wait a minute, what does that mean? Who is currently mocking his recovery, no I'm not. And horrific racist and bigoted harassment of True Bones Motion's animation studio, literally live streaming to Twitch and YouTube, a celebration about him getting his leg amputated. It's the world's smallest violin, and it's going wee, 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 wee. You can't start a GoFundMe for One Gun's medical bills because all of his medical bills are paid for. So now you're going to come on here and tell another lie. Oh, let's get a GoFundMe for him. You can't do that. He's lying here. Listen. The pressure he's been under of a transphobic and racist harassment. <sighs> Currently mocking his recovery in the hospital. This weighs very heavily on my soul, and I'm crying it out right now. Oh, it would mean a lot to me if some of my friends would pop in to leave supportive comments on his channel. It's not his channel. <laughs> Whoops, I spit. <laughs> you see this, folks? This is not One Gun's channel. He is lying. He is lying. One gun is a patsy for a white supremacy gang who made him do this. And when he didn't do it right, they put him in the hospital by feeding him oxycotin with fentanyl in it. That's how his ass landed in the hospital. Not because of his leg. Because, you know... The last we heard from Alvin, down again. And he's not going to go to no one. Now, the little bullshit he's doing now is nothing. Is nothing. 
See, I hate to say it, but it sounded like this guy deserved to go in the hospital. Because uh, Cause he wasn't going to stop. Protection on their stuff, and you were selling it. And no, that's a lie, too. They don't have digital protection on their stuff. That's just a made-up word, man. Oh, we have digital protection on our stuff. No, you don't! Quit lying. Does this sound like a person who's sick? We're the nuisance, and we got rid of your behavior. Well, he just called me a nuisance, and he got rid of my behavior. Well, I just got rid of your leg. How's that sound? At least I can dance. You can't. How do you like them apples? And I don't freaking have one iota of sympathy for Alvin. So there you go, folks. This is a disgusting human being. What you don't understand, Eve Bat, is he had a lot more to deal with than that. He's got white supremacy gangs telling him what to do. And I have a sneaky suspicion, Eve Bat, that you might be one of those white supremacy people manipulating one gun and using him and while he's vulnerable in the hospital you want to get your little meat hooks into him don't you leave alvin the fuck alone asshole and this very clearly has changed their life um, yeah and you want to get in on that action right um, they're also being harassed at this being harassed same time you're harassing him also literally being mocked and <laughs> harassed is. but this one he can't be an adult this motherfucker he's still stuck at being 12. does it listen do you hear how he's snorting he's always snorting every five seconds it's <laughs> that's because he's doing the freaking fentanyl he's still stuck at line about everything yeah, I did say that. I said one gun got his leg amputated because he's head over heels in love with Joseph Earl McPeak. And to celebrate, he's going to the IHOP Pancake House. Lots of laughs. Your little feeble ego and your little pansy-ass uh, ego couldn't take it no more? Oh, wah. He's talking about my one gun. He's not your one gun. You don't know him. He don't know you. Yet you're, as soon as he hits that hospital bed, you're jumping all over trying to make GoFundMes. Go ahead. Try to make a GoFundMe. I dare you. I dare you to make a GoFundMe for this crap. Now you got people feeling sorry for your ass. I don't feel sorry for your ass. I'm going to joke about it. You hear me? I'm going to joke. I'm going to joke. I'm going to joke. So, but I hope that Alvin has enough sense that he needs to block the following people. You need to block Eve Bat. She's dangerous. You need to block Sally Peck. He's dangerous because he acts like a woman, and he's not a woman. He's a man. Number three, you need to block Jet Strange. You need to get rid of that base channel. You need to remove all the... Stupid videos you said about Joe. You need to block Oprah Gramps. You need to block Todd Fox. You need to block Autumn Productions. Oh, and block Sean Fry and block little Sean Fry. Sean Fry is going to go to jail or at least lose his job. So next time you ask yourself, why is Elvin in the hospital? Don't say it's because he had to get his leg cut off. No, folks. He was fucking around with fentanyl street drugs. Elvin went to the hospital because the white supremacy gangs wanted him to. Because he couldn't get rid of Joseph Earl McPeak. And now they're losing market share. And now they're losing money. And now one gun is a liability. Hello? Are you catching up? Do you understand how it works? What the fuck are you talking about?
we're going to go ahead and show you. I mean, we shouldn't even show you this, but go to Don Thack. Now, Don Thack is a fake name. And uh, they say that I steal stuff. And Todd Fox needs to grow up. Go fuck yourself. They keep saying that um, I steal stuff. Now, the, the one person who really needs to grow up is this person named One Gun. An old man sitting in his mom's house, sitting in his mom's garage. So? What are you talking about that for? It's got nothing to do with you. Me and my mom or somebody else and their mom or you and your mom or Todd Fox and his mom has nothing to do with what you're trying to do. Now grow up, man. Quit talking about people's moms. You see, folks, what they did is these anonymous donors use fake credit cards. GoFundMe is a scam. They used one gun Alvin Snurling's flesh to raise a quick thousand for his drug buddies. I'm in the middle of upgrading my computer for animation work, uh, but now it has to go for bills. And I am, you have invisible bills that you set up this eve bat is faker than a two dollar dildo you are made of stupid you know about me being creative you know you're not creative nothing. you're not creative i don't steal nothing from nobody i don't steal nothing from nobody grow the fuck up you see what i'm dealing with here folks a complete mad lunatic. You know, I try to make my own ideas. No, you don't. You have your own ideas on how to tear people's shit down, yeah. But that's not called being an artist. That's not called being a creator. That's called being a destroyer, asshole. Own stuff. That's why I went out my way to uh, get a motion character suit so I can make my own motion. Character. He's never made any motions with it. You know, I use a mocap suit. Capture. There's nothing wrong with what I do. Um, but yes, there is. Kid, grow up, man. Folks, this is what he does. He lies, he cheats, he steals, and he talks down on other people. I can't even use my own real name because he's fucked it up. He's stolen my name, and now he's going to sit back in a hospital and say, I don't steal stuff. Yeah, because you feel safe in a hospital. You would never say that to my face. I'm not going to argue with you. I know it sounds like it, right? <laughs> I'm not going to argue with you no more. Hack. Goodbye, one gun. Grow the fuck up, you stupid. Way above your level. Of course you're going to be jealous. Is it one gun shun? Or is it Alvin Snurling? And I am a black artist. Man, grow the F up. They raised this thousand dollars for drug dealers. For the mafia. And I got bills and such. No, you don't. You're a broke ass bum who doesn't own a damn thing. Therefore, you don't have any bills. You don't pay rent. You don't pay hospital bills. You don't pay for food. You are a bald faced liar. So I guess we're going to have to call the judge today. So. Um, yeah, I mean, that's not a threat. That's just me, a desperate man, trying to get this person to give me my fucking life back because he's stolen my name and he shamed my name and now he's up there in a hospital bed doing it, which is like 100% or 200% more effective. He's telling everybody where I live. He's giving everybody my phone number. He's uh, telling everybody that I steal stuff. That is wrong. Not only am I calling the judge, I'm calling the newspapers. The only reason one gun does all that bullshit is to impress his white supremacy friends. He's a white supremacist patsy. Folks, get it, get it right.
I'm being accused of pirating a motion capture file that I created with my own motion capture equipment as belonging to True Bones. I do not know if this person has any association with True Bones, this person goes under the name Peak Levels. I am not taking this accusation lightly. Has anyone been falsely accused of something similar to this and what steps were taken to resolve this type of issue? Thank you. Hi. I'm sorry to hear you have claims made against you. Unfortunately the person in question who made these false claims is a banned member of the forum and our policy is to not name him or give him any attention, which he seems to relish. As someone who is constantly contacted by this individual I would advise ignoring him just as I do. However, if you need help removing his comments, please contact support and they will help you. I will now close this thread. Apologies to those whose replies were deleted but we have a strict policy of not naming or discussing banned members on the forum. Hey Bat Fam, fans and supporters, wow do I have some much better news for you today. Uh, I put this video out just a couple days ago. I, I was worried about this because I didn't have a lot of uh, energy to invest in my friend's recovery here. And y'all more than came through for us as absolutely quick as possible. Within four days, we have reached over our thousand dollar goal of fundraising for Alvin's recovery. They put my video in here and we posted this in just a couple places and I, I just I don't even know what to say. This means a lot to me. I'm really proud of this community. I'm really proud of you all. Uh, I, the response was fantastic. The response was perfect. I, I, I'm, I'm taken aback. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Thank you so much. I, I do think it's important to state that uh, I was attacked for making this video, for supporting this artist. My studio uh, endured basically endless uh, harassment messages. They all come from one particular person in this case, and, and it's not even, like, negotiable that this could have been a group of people. It's literally just one obsessive person who really, really wants to hurt one gun shun and if you say anything positive about him or you come out in support of him you're gonna deal with that and it happens that this guy is like a terrible transphobe and just a real mess but seeing them floundering angrily cursing one gun's name on stream as that number rose higher and higher really sealed home that we are the good guys here and that the bad people don't matter. And I'm I'm proud. I'm proud of you all for that. True Bones made numerous streams over the last week, uh, both attacking my studio, attacking, reporting my various pages, um, and mocking and insulting One Gun's injury, mocking them for the leg amputation. I, I know maybe to straight people, to cisgender people, you might sit back and think, okay, well, of course, you know, the trans people in the world deal with some weird stuff, but it really can't be as bad as they say, right? All it takes is a couple of people that fucking crazy saying stuff like that all the time to make the world feel like a really threatening, scary, dark place. I just think it's really important for all of you to remember that you matter and that your art matters, and that your survival matters, and that fighting for it is important. Because the people out there that are posting these terrible comments on the internet, they're, they're not good people, they're not sane people, they're not normal people. They are deeply fucked up, ill people who are trying to drag you down to, to the hell that they live in. So, again, I'm, I'm proud of all of you. Thank you.